So, um, <clears throat> a TVP here against Dark Slime. It's a gold level player. Not a lot of games. I'm guessing this is probably a Smurf account, but whatever. Doesn't matter. So. So I've seen some TVP and the thing I've noticed in my, my TVP in general and TVP overall is you have to know what they're up to in your ability to sniff out what their strat is because they're pretty much going to push you very far in one direction or another whereas Zerg generally takes a hatch, generally macros up a little bit, even if, I mean there's sometimes they push but they generally don't. So here's the first sign that I see, which is that there is a gateway and a pylon. That immediately to me means that they are going to be doing an expand and almost every time I've ever seen this it means gone into air, sky like sky toss in one form or another. So I have a refinery going down here. I bring, put a refinery down, get a marine out, so that he sees a refinery. I want him to see that I'm going gas. And then when he dies, I'm going to cancel the gas, build my command center, cancel the gas. So I want to be right where he's at economy wise, because I am assuming he's going to take a nexus very shortly. He has a pylon here, he's got a double gas here, he's got a robo going down there. Another robo, I mean another gateway. By the way, I scouted this, as you can see, so that I've been learning that this is most likely where they're going to put their hidden tech. So I'm on two bases, roughly the same amount of harvesters, but I've got orbitals. I'm getting a factory and a reactor for my starport. And he's doing, sorry, so hold on. So. He, he saw me scout this. And he's trying to be clever, so he cancels it and builds double starport which again I have a feeling it's going to be something starporty ish anyway but the, here's the good thing about that whether it's colossus or double starport either or I want the same thing a lot of vikings before even thinking about getting medevacs so now I send a guy out check the third or, and instead of starting to produce medevacs I start to produce vikings Again, get two turrets, one in each spot for oracles or anything crazy like that. Get another gas. If you notice, I'm very light on army right now, as is he. Complete. So we're both very light on army. He's getting some gateways, he's getting his nexus. I I'm ahead. I've got the same number of harvesters or more, and I've got mule, so I'm ahead in the income. He's starting to produce uh, void rays. And his little tech trick is not going to work because I'm going to get a ton of Vikings. So, again, getting supply depots, getting my upgrades from my Marine Marauder. 
and getting some Vikings. Add-ons complete. Again, I don't have a lot of units right now. Everything, it's all production time, it's all supply depots, production buildings, command centers. You know, it's not a lot of army yet, but I'm going to be able to produce a lot of army very quickly. Um, here's my armory for plus two, plus two. My plus one is already more than halfway done. I start to break the rocks, considering a third. He is going Void Rays. I want to know what he's up to. So again, I'm going to send one guy to each watchtower, one guy outside of his base, and that's what I'm going to do. Watchtower, watchtower, base. He's now put a flea peek in there. So, now that I've got stuff producing, two Marauders, four Marines, Viking, and now I need a couple medevacs, so I don't just do all Vikings, I do a couple medevacs here and there. Um, I start my plus two upgrades. Plus two, plus two. Build more supply depots. Build more supply depots. I'm just building constant supply depots, four at a time. So now, I decide, I want to know what he's up to. So I've got good vision on the map down here. I'm going to boost the medevac over. I'm going to create more medevacs, more vikings, but I'm going to keep an eye on this medevac. I'm going to boost him over. I'm going to see if I can get a little peek at his army. So... In the income tab, it's 49 to 46, but I'm way ahead because of my mules. So now here's what I do. I kind of take a quick look. Does he have a third? Yes, he's going for it. Take a quick look up here. Up, oh, Void Ray Army. Beautiful. So now I'm going to back up, and I'm going to see if he saw that. What is he looking at? Looks like he didn't see it. Oh, okay, he did see it. But I don't know that he saw that I saw. So let's see what he does. Doesn't do much. So I'm ahead 30 supply here. And he's producing two void rays at a time. I throw a scan down. Missing the army, which is fine. Because I don't necessarily want him to see that I know the army, but I just want to sort of take a look at this area. See what kind of production is up in there. Again... I'm at 49 to 48, so I'm ahead in the harvesters. And with my mules, I'm in really good shape. We're going to go back to my vision now. So, I am now back to producing. I'm getting plus one attack from my ship. Plus two, plus two is almost done. I'm getting more marines. I stopped doing marauders because it's not a lot of ground. So I just have those marauders that I already had, which is 14. Hell bats, that's it. All marines now. And again, like I said... Vikings, and I'm doing two more starports. So I'm now, I'm now going to have three starports here with the ability to produce four air units at a time, and I can add reactors on that to make six. Um, again, all my minerals are really low here. I'm never really peeking out in minerals. Constantly building units. Now it's time to take a third. He's pushing across on the map at this point. So there's my third. Ready to blunder. Ready to blunder. Base is under and he uses a lot of void rays and instantly wipes out my base. Nice move. So now with my army value higher than his, my income about the same. Maybe a little bit better once I drop... Um, uh, he's a little bit better now. Maybe a little bit better when I drop the mules. I need to get out there. I need to fight. i got to remake my third. And i got to go take out his third. That's just pretty much what I have to do right now. His third has to die. Mineral field. 
You must construct additional pylons. I'm at 180 supply. My plus one weapons are almost done. It's plus two air is almost done. He's getting more stargates. Here's what I do. Take my whole force. I stim one marine. I scan here just to see if there's an observer over my units, which there's not. Send one marine over there. See nothing. Now I know it's time to go and take out this base. We could use some help here. Boom, boom, baby. So, I'm going to run in. Stim my units. Wipe everything out. He's going to come and attack. I'm going to stim in. Use my marine marauder to wipe out these void rays. I've got a ton of air. A ton of air. I'm left with 160 supply. He's down to 57. I've lost about 2,600. He's lost 10,000. Let's just take a quick look again at this engagement. Right here, the army value, he, I'm ahead by a little, but if you look at the units, 46 marines, 18 marauders, 3 hellbats, 17 vikings, 4 medevacs, and again, a lot of um, SCVs, 50 to 60. He has 14 void rays, 15 stalkers, 10 zealots. So this army could not beat this army right here, let alone the 17 vikings. So right now... 14, 15, and 10 probably would not be able to beat my plus 2, plus 2 upgraded units. What are his upgrades? Plus 1, plus 1, plus 0, plus 0. So this is not a very good comp comp uh, composition. And as we saw the battle, just was not going to go well for him. Stim in. Thirds down. And he has no fourth. So that's that. That all dies. And I just go in to finish him off. Still producing Marine Marauder. Okay. Uh, so, we're adding a new component to this game, which is, to the replays, which is um, adding my replay into GG Tracker, which is this great little app that's now been integrated with StarCraft so you can instantly upload your replay and all the stuff is in the replay that the website needs so it'll basically instantly have all the data I want so let's take a quick look at this match here's the map this is first time looking at this so basically that's me versus my opponent this is an army value graph and at any point you can see what's exactly what's in your army you can click see exactly what's in your army so like right and then this gray area from here to there is any battle or engagement and it'll tell you the units lost in that engagement so for example 2,500 2,025 to 11,325 um, and at the beginning of that engagement you can see that he had uh, 15 stalkers, 14 void rays, 10 zealots, uh, yada yada. And then there's an area, this is the game length, this is the actual uh, mineral gas and supply of any given moment. Here it's workers created, structures built, resource collection rate, uh, average unspent resources, and spending skill. This spending skill quotient 
is what they consider how you make and spend your resources and the higher the better and this is suggesting we both spent at the grandmaster level I don't know if that's true but it just means we spent very very well I train more units yada yada so now we have actions per minute or APM I, he's blue I'm red so roughly about the same during the battle I did a little extra mineraling income so uh, I am ahead here with my mules and my two bases and start to lower a little bit uh, against the, his third base gas income again I'm roughly ahead or even here ahead and then he gets on his third for a little bit so he picks up a little bit resources lost in combat you can zoom into any part of this game any part of this uh, these graphs by the way so just kind of zoom into this last bit resources lost he lost so much more than I did and you can look at what it was uh, minerals in bank so I had some minerals in bank here when I was about to make my uh, command center and here at the 11 minute mark yeah this is right before I started producing massive amounts of marine marauder medevac so all that mineral got spent super quick and stayed spent for the rest of the game um, I probably was a supply block there at the uh, 12 minute mark let's continue so um, in gas and bank again similar he had a lot more gas banked overall workers active we both did pretty well on that um, he got on his third base before I did um, I saturated my bases pretty well though as you can see in the mineral income now uh, this is Nexus Chrono which I'm not going to really get into because I don't do any of that and that's all Protoss and then here we have Orbital Command so in the Orbital Command squares are mules circles are scanned diamonds are uh, supply call down so if you look at where my minerals in bank were right at uh, the 12 minute mark boom 12 minute mark okay so I did a supply call down here so it wasn't really actually at that point so it probably just really hit a bunch of mules and got a bunch of resources very quickly but I spent them pretty quickly so it was a pretty good game um, yeah I scouted what he was doing early and I um, I scouted what he was doing early and I kind of adjusted my build to get a better economy than him and then I used that economy in the end to beat him. So time supply cap the minute 40 pretty good for me 38 pretty good for him uh, average unspent resources roughly even I was a little bit better so it's lower uh, and then these are the similar graphs we just saw workers active upgrades uh, I had better upgrades actually so that's something the other thing doesn't show resource collection rate better for me army value better for me okay